A lawsuit tonight in the city of San Francisco over something stagnant that is also growing into something that could be really dangerous for people nearby. This pond of water in the Soma neighborhood now inhabits what was supposed to be housing. Kara St. Cyr with the concerns from residents. A pond of stagnant water near 5th Street has been sitting for so long, it's essentially developed its own ecosystem of plants, insects, and birds. The swampy lot was supposed to be prime real estate for the Soma neighborhood, but people who live nearby, like Bavneet, say it's nothing more than a public nuisance okay. now. It's a disaster. It's really bad. And all the mosquitoes, all the insects, it's just insane. Bavneet says trucks used to line the street with pumps to keep water from pooling, but he hasn't seen those trucks in almost six months. I can expect this in maybe some other parts of the world, but come on, man, this is San Francisco. You gotta fix this. Bavneet and his friends put up with a lot, affectionately known by locals as Lake Komata, with a sense of humor, calling it the best discovery of natural resources since President Roosevelt. But the violations mounting against the developers who are supposed to be taking care of it are no laughing matter. These owners are in violation of numerous local and state health and safety codes and have created a public nuisance that is endangering the health and safety of neighbors and the general public. The suit lists multiple defendants. Construction on the lot started before 2020, but halted during the pandemic. Since then, developers racked up almost 80 violations and penalties from various city agencies. Chu says even that wasn't enough to get a response from any companies involved. We've just not been able to get the attention of the property owner uh, we haven't been able to get them to respond to multiple notices of violating city and state law, so uh, we had to take this, uh, this step. He calls the lot a classic public nuisance case and believes the court will share that same sentiment. Bevneet says he doesn't care who's behind the swamp. He just wants to see it cleaned up.